Hello, I'm going to show you how to create the in center of a triangle on Desmos. So you go to Desmos and then you go to math tools and geometry tool. We're creating an in center of a triangle. So let's go to the polygon button. Click, click, double click because um, a polygon, a triangle is a three-sided polygon and that is what we need. So a in center is where the three um, angle bisectors intersect. So let's go ahead and start creating our angle bisectors. Select circle, take one of the vertices, take your circle and the point that Desmos automatically does, go ahead and um, make sure it's on one of the sides of the triangle. Now go to the other, button that says point and you click and you create the point here. I'm a visual person so I need to change the colors of the points on the sides of my triangle so I'm going to hit select. I'm going to select that point. I'm going to do Christmas colors just because I want to. Select the other point. So I have one green and one red. Now I don't need this circle anymore so I'm going to click it and I'm going to hit hide. Now I'm going to go to the circle button. I'm going to go to the red circle. Take that point all the way to the green circle. Now I'm still in the circle button, so I'm gonna click, click here on the green button or on the green point, and I'm gonna to go to the red point and click there. Okay, so now I need points where the two circles intersect. They intersect here. Oh, this Desmond's not gonna let me get there. It's too close to the vertice for me to click it there, but that's okay. I'm gonna click this one here. Two points will create a line. So I, I have the vertice, I don't need this one, but if yours will let you, then do it. I no longer need those circles, so I'm gonna hit select, hide, select, hide. I no, no longer need the red and green points, so select, hide, select, hide. Now I'm gonna take a ray, and I'm gonna, the end point of my ray is gonna be the vertice of the triangle, and to this point here. And I have created an angle bisector. I have bisected this angle. I no longer need that point. So I'm going to hit select, select that point and hide it. Now let's go ahead and bisect the other, um, another angle of the triangle. I hit the circle button, click the vertice, go here, make sure the point is on one side of your triangle and then go to the point and click there. Now I'm gonna change the colors of my points because I'm a visual person. So I'm gonna hit select here. I'm just gonna make Christmas colors because again, I want to. There you go. Now I no longer need that circle. So I'm gonna select that circle and I'm gonna hide it. I need a circle. So I'm gonna click the circle button. Red here will be the center of my circle to the green. And now I'm still in the circle button. So I'm gonna hit green will be the center of this circle to the red. Now I'm going to take my point and where the circles intersect. No, it's not letting me there. It's too close. And then here. Okay, I no longer need those circles. So select, hide, select, hide. I no longer need the red or green points. So select, hide, select, hide. Now I'm going to take the ray button and I'm gonna to go to the vertice to the point. And now I have created an angle bisector for this angle. I no longer need that point, select it, hide. Now I'm going to bisect the third angle, take the circle button, click, make sure the point is on the side of a, the triangle, make the other point here. And I am going to change the colors, red and green. I no longer need that circle, so I'm going to click it and hide it. Now I need the circle button again, taking the green as the center of my circle to the red, which will be my radius, taking the red to the green. There we go. And then I'm going to take my point and I'm going to where the circles intersect. I don't need that one outside of the triangle, so I'm good. And then I'm going to select my circles, hide, 
hide. I no longer need the red and green point. Hide and hide. Now I'm going to take my ray and the vertice of the triangle will be the end point and then that point. I no longer need that point. Click it and hide. All right, so right here is the end center of this triangle. I'm going to click the point button and then I'm going to select it and label it. In center. Want anybody else to take credit for your work, so please make sure you have your name. And then the beautiful thing about Desmos is that it lets you manipulate the triangle vertices so that you can actually explore what would happen to the in center of the triangle if you moved these vertices around. I think it's a very powerful thing, a very visual thing, and I it's one of the things I love about Desmos.